that the councillors uh, uh, allowed us to eat su su uh, su uh, cucumber, uh, not cucumbers, uh, tina fours. Really? That we caught up in, trawl <laughs> really? in trawls. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with that? They're just, you know, they're just like any other animal in the yeah. ocean. They don't have stinging cells. Mm -hmm. They're pretty abundant. Sure are. No. <laughs> what was the texture? I mean, not a deep sea tina for, you know. Mm -hmm. Have standards. <laughs> I have standards. I really can't be judging actually based on <laughs> my reputation. <laughs> Samantha. What's this thing? For science. Is this For super science. weird? Is that part of the rock or is that? Let's have a look. Is that a, is that a story time, Samantha? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just check it. Maybe for later. <laughs> <laughs> Offline. Yeah. I think that's yeah, rock. I, I mean, I wouldn't recommend okay, it, but it's not it's not going to yeah. hurt you. I would try it. Yeah. Yeah. Put it this way. Okay, it's part of the rock. Never mind. As long as I had Second something time to, uh, yeah. The rock strikes I see again. a shrimp on the rocks. Bronwyn, did you get that one already? Mm. Shrimp. <laughs> He's having a hard time keeping up. I know it's We're seeing a lot of shrimp on this one. We're not being super vocal about it, but they're there. Bronwyn is diligent in her shrimp count I today. know. I'm very grateful. Okay. We're so all grateful. Karen, the slope looks like it is at... Kind of one three five from where you were. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Steve, kind of confirming, we either continue going kind of straight up um, the slope into that plateau with a better view, or I, th I think that's the way we're going, rather than doing this kind of lateraling, which doesn't allow us the best view. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. One more, I'll see how it looks. Okay. Um, uh, and maybe once we're at not this pathies. little plateau, we can just kind of zoom across it yep, east. Good. Okay. So let's do, um, let's try not to do a full 135. You think like one. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, let's just do one three zero. Okay. Okay. Bridge now. Can we zoom on the lasers? Do we have uh, any? Five zero meters, yeah. one three zero. Right there. Go for zoom. That's a barnacle. Okay. Uh, barnacle? Yep. Barnacle bill. One cool. barnacle on the rock? Yeah, I'm seeing a barnacle. One barnacle. Oh, wow, that's a. Yeah. Have you seen um, these barnacles on directly on rock before? Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. No. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a gooseneck. That does look like a yeah. gooseneck. The, the same species would attach to a coral base or, you know, any substrate that it could. What's the species? Uh, I think, it, give me a second. It's not one of the species names I have downloaded in my brain, unfortunately. I s sometimes have to look it up. It's got a lot downloaded in there. Yeah. yeah. So much. Samantha, I have a navigation question coming in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Somebody is wondering, are moves pre-planned? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> they are not. Uh, we have the, the pre-planning that happens before, actually I'll let Steve speak to um, in a second, but uh, no, I'm, I'm doing ship moves based off of um, sort of what we see here on the seafloor. Um, we have bathymetric maps to kind of give us an idea of what's down here, but um, once we're down, things can look a lot different than the, the maps show us. So um, the moves are, are kind of on the fly in consultation with uh, science and the ROV team to make sure that 
we're safely maneuvering the vehicles and also accomplishing science goals. But I'll let Steve speak to the planning that goes in um, to our dive track before. Yep. Yeah. So uh, typically we 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 plan we plan for several dives. We plan about five or six dives prior to coming out to see on bathymetry that already exists. Uh, for example, you know, and sites that are high priority that we know we're going to go to. Uh, unfortunately, as we found out, this cruise, the weather doesn't allow us to go to those sites sometimes, and so we have to have backup plans, which we make on the fly, sometimes a day or two out, uh, sometimes 30 minutes out. But okay. generally, we tr if we have a mapped target, we can Thanks. generate a plan for a dive within uh, you know, at least a good 12, 24 hours before and send that out. Um, and if it's something we have to map, then we'll map it and then make a dive plan uh, you know, within four to 12 hours before the, the dive. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Surely this must have been collected somewhere else, but this, that same barnacle has been seen many times. <laughs> All right, so I just got a message in the chat that reads, sometimes it's so easy to forget this is underwater because it all looks so sub-aerial. <laughs> oh, they're with it. Oh my gosh. Hold on. We have fans. Nick, are you in the chat? <laughs> I am not in I the was, chat. I was watching Nick the whole time. Hey, <laughs> hands are in the air. <laughs> that was somebody else. It's spreading. Is it Rob? <laughs> Rob, is that you? Yeah. I think it was Steve. Steve's on his laptop. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I don't have Nautilus Live open. <laughs> so if anyone uh, was not Can here we look for that. here again? Yeah. There's a... I'm seeing a bunch of these traces on the ground, and I'm I'm serious that there must be something making them, like barnacles. <laughs> I yeah. want barnacle. It's getting around. Mobile barnacles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Do you have any guesses, too? Nope. No idea. I, I'm a, I would. I hope it's some sign, kind of mollusk, but. I can't. Are you talking about that right there? Uh, no, I think it's going to be sediment. Yep, it's sediment. Nothing there. Okay, never mind. Okay. Just a test. I saw we were getting out too far ahead, so I was like, ah, oh, we need to slow that down a bit. <laughs> uh, Backseat driving. A notch. No, but I, I think this is a good, uh, good angle. Upslope. <coughs> it allows us to see more of the slope. Mm. Mm. And I like seeing things further out because you can see things coming a little bit better. As far as the overall uh, geomorphology of the seamount, it's it's been pretty much pillow basalt um, ever since we, we we hit that bottom uh, where the you know, right before we had all the. Uh, can we zoom uh, here? Sediment. Yeah, yeah. There's another dot, white dot on the rock. What is that? It's got projections coming out. Some kind of urchin. Okay, clear for zoom. Oh yeah. This might be our uh, our organism. That is such a weird anemone. Um, can we collect this? Uh, oh, yeah. So this will be another, exactly as you did last time, kind of suction it up and then d drop it in the forward box. Ship is stopped. Nice. Uh, 
Did I say anemone before? Urchin, I meant. Oh, dang it. Already highlighted. Okay. Can you zoom wide, please? Oh, yeah. No, it's an urchin. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. The, the tube feet are hanging out and yeah. at the top. Yeah. Oh, I was like, that is right. a weird, <laughs> weird anemone. I think I'm a bit far, actually. So... Do you want to grab those just now, or do you want me to bunny hop up closer? Can bunny hop. <laughs> Going for the hop. Roger. Roger on the hop. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> do a barrel roll. No, don't yes. do that, please. Yes, Nick. <laughs> then all our rocks are going to be yeah. mixed up. Do a like cartwheel. <laughs> Yeah, okay, Great let up. me see if I can just, this is steady. I think this is a kind of, <laughs> a kind of thyroid. It has I a very interesting. Hopes. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, that's great. A great spot. Morphology, okay, stick and I think I've seen this in the in the NOAA guide and it's been totally unidentified. Wow, that's exciting. Nice. I like this little. Um, do you want to run too. flush first? Yes. Here, I'll give you a camera view. Well, it's not going in, is it going in a jar or in the? Lambda. Forward box. Oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Thanks for catching that. Um, okay. It, there's a chance it could get suctioned up, but uh, so I would use a fresh jar. Okay. All right. Okay. Good call. But Some I don't know. Jar. Yeah, I can't really uh, tell exactly how big it is. The spines are going to be rigid. Uh, oh, I think. okay. So I think it won't. It'll get. It'll get stuck on the hose nozzle, and then you can just dump it in the box. Beauty. So five, I think, is is heretofore unclaimed there's I nothing in five i have i have something written in five uh two three four does not have things written okay um i also have it written that they're out of order so i guess we'll just look as we as we turn there three that looks definitely open yeah and okay, i don't cool. have anything written there okay Alrighty. so there is no record of this thing this okay. urchin. Wow. Uh, which makes this a really potentially valuable collection. Because urchins also have associated animals with them. So I think we're going to... Can this. you look Slurp. down a bit more? Okay. Yes. Uh, this white dots on the rock really paid off, it seems like. Yeah, yeah. you okay. got yeah, to no look kidding. closely. <laughs> yeah. Don't take anything for granted. Yeah. No, not at all. For granted. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Cat. Okay, so interestingly, I found a photo of it. It was last observed at Johnston Atoll, and it has a genus name that I've never heard of before called Habrosideris species question <laughs> mark. That's a good sign. Interesting. Habrosideris yeah. species question You know where you find granite, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we there? explain to <laughs> the viewers online who may have never heard this sub aerial joke before? Oh, no. oh wait, is let's that what you were about to let's say? Let's uh, wait until uh, after yeah. the collection okay. before we. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. And by and Steve means let's wait till after the dive. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Let's I wait think till never. We need a dad joke count, by the way. We've already had like four during this, just this shift. That's data I don't want to <laughs> see. <laughs> All data is good data. All data is <laughs> All good data. All data is good data. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, interestingly, so this same Habrosideris has been seen in the music, music, oh, musician seamounts, Johnson Atoll, and it's never been collected. And it's, uh, All right, ready for some suckage? Probably going to be a new uh, species. Let's Exciting. look up and get a zoom. Cool. I was going to ask. How's that? Yeah, that's great. All right. All right, I'll turn the pump on now. Okay. That is, what do you, how do you feel about 30%? Uh, yeah. Let okay, that's a, you at 30%. And the still camera gives you a good parallax view as well. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Wow. 40, please. You're at 40, though. Okay. Okay, so forward. Go wide, please. 
bio box lambda on the port side. Okay. This is 107 nav. Thank you. Hey, that's a box play out. All okay. right. There's nice. only two known species uh, of oh. this genus. Okay, that sucked up. Okay. Okay. Well. It didn't uh, so you uh, might uh, mm -hmm. go in. Yeah. Oh no. What's up? Looks like little legs are swishing around in there. Is it in the tube right now um, that you can see? No, I thought I saw some debris inside the little jar. Okay. Um, you could uh, increase suction a little, like one more bump maybe. Okay. That's you at 50%. Okay. Water's coming through. Uh, Steve, should we increase suction more? Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Give, it, give it the beans. Yeah, give it the beans. Give it the beans. Full beans. Full beans. Aye, that's 70%. Okay. Huh. Oh, give it a jostle the hose a little bit, and if we don't get it, we'll just keep going. Okay. Still writing this as a sample, though. Steve. What's that? Still writing this as a sample. Yeah, let's let's call it a slurp sample. Let's see what comes. It could be in you know, the stuck in the elbow or something too, up in the above the bottle. So. Mm -hmm. Have we tried moving the jar? Does that work? Uh, by rotating the jars, it works? Or uh, I mean, Gabby might be able to speak to this more, but I think sometimes when things get, <laughs> like, if it's stuck on the filter, you can do the, like, turn off the slurp, see if it drops, and then... Okay, sure. I don't know. Uh, the jar yeah, we can try turning off the slurp for a sec. Just in case it's stuck in there. It's pretty big, though. Eventually, the spines will break. Yeah. Yep. That mm -hmm. Little pieces in there. Oh. Oh no. Definitely. I do see another one. spine coming down. Yep. All right. It's in there. Mm, well, somewhere. it's okay. in there somewhere. Mm. Okay. Um, I'll just make a note for the handover. Um. I don't know whether you guys want to just treat that as sort of like the sample jar there, yeah. um, like we did with the coral that got stuck, um, and just not take any more samples there. Uh, either, I mean, we've used almost all our jars anyway, so okay. uh, yeah, we don't have any more jar capacity. Okay. Well, we one, one more jar. Two more. Two more. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Karen, I feel like Hello. the hydraulics didn't 
even waver on that. Yeah, very interesting. I'm delightful. I'm happy. <laughs> yes. Uh, science, the hydraulics are like cracking right now, so Great. that gives us a lot more leeway and me a lot less anxiety. So, <laughs> so hydraulics are good at this moment. Yay! And I don't want to jinx it, but it just, um, yeah. It might be just like Karen just sat there and it was like, ah, oh, somebody knew. <laughs> we can start fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so really exciting. We potentially found a sea urchin species that has very, very, very little known about it. Yep. There's only two species in that genus and uh, ever there's only been uh, about uh, 11 records of this of these two species worldwide. Hmm. Wow. And some of them are collections and some of them are visual observations. And uh, there's me. some specimens from uh, the Smithsonian Institution and uh, and that's the only repository for this genus. Is that a sea That is a Crinoid, stuffed crinoid. Probably a uh, in the family Hyocrinidae. What's that? It's uh, the base of the fronds there. Yeah, a little associate. A snail? Uh, unclear. Um, could be a snail, although it do doesn't look very obvious. If we do have a minute, it would be nice to get a zoom. Okay, yeah. can you uh, zoom out a little bit, please? I'll just get a little bit closer. Sometimes they can be gastropods, but as we saw, I think it was on our first dive, did we see eggs at the base of a uh, crinoid stock? It was last yeah, dive. Anyone remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So the, they are useful habitat. Hmm. I haven't seen a single Dumbo octopus egg case, though, on a coral. They're usually quite a pretty abundant. I um, go for zoom. Maybe. Really? Yeah, maybe I'm thinking more of like uh, Johnston, uh, south of Johnston, like Howlin and Baker, Jarvis, the Line Islands, they're more common. That's really cool. Yep. Oh, yes, so this is a, some sort of Sorry. maybe a parasitic relationship between this gastropod and this uh, stocked crinoid. We collected one of these last year uh, at Johnson Atoll. Yep, it looks like it has uh, its mouth parts either over wide, the body or some part of the body of the crinoid. So it could be parasitizing food, or it could be, you know, consuming fecal matter that might be expelled from the uh, the crinoid. So definitely an observation that's been made a few times. Uh, over the past few years mm -hmm. and we collected one last year i don't know if that combo has ever been identified but it's definitely something we would like to uh, follow up with thanks we can move on oh. we're starting to level off uh, at all we should be based on the bathymetry um i'd say sonar wise not as obvious but potentially Hi, Julia. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely not as steep as we were before, right? Um, her g uh, is just catching up from after the sampling. And then, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah. And then I'll be back. Like during the sampling, Atalanta swung and Herc was like way. Way other, back. Yeah, not so far, but like. Cool. But yeah. <coughs> and I just didn't turn. I can turn Atalanta around um, when we do that as well. When I have, like, no. sp when I have spare hands. Yeah, not a big deal. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, is this the top here? Uh, it kind of looks like it, yeah. Sure does. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm hoping to be able to go 090 to get us across this plateau. Um, okay. As long as it doesn't lead us back down. Yep, straight up. So let's do. Let's do one zero zero, so we don't go back down. Does that make one sense zero. with what we're seeing? Yeah. Great. That does make sense. Bridge now. That's on me. I was up too high. Nice. Uh, five zero meters. One zero zero. Starting to see a little bit more of a sheet flow here. At the top of the saddle. So the only other specimen that's been collected in this area of that urchin was near French Frigate Shoals at 395 fathoms. Nice. Wow. So that's six uh, feet, right? Six feet and a fathom? So you said 395 fathoms? Yeah. So 722 meters. Um, by my calculation, that would suggest that either this thing has an extremely large depth range or it's totally new. Either is really cool. Yeah. French Frigate Shoals is to the northeast of here. It's uh, in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands chain. And there was another species that it looks to be more Atlantic from 580 fathoms in the Caribbean. So either way, I think this is a pretty cool record. Uh, so are we at the very top of the seamount at this time? Negative. We are at <laughs> a little knoll on the side of it. OK. I can zoom out on high back here. Yeah, so if you can see our screen, we're at this little mole here. Summit is two waypoints away, but that's also, let's see how many. It'll be 2,000 meters away, so we're definitely sorry, not making sorry. it there on our watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the sense of the current up here? Are we uh, being pushed around, or is it pretty modest? It's modest. Okay. That's a good thing to note in the sea log. That modest current in the area of waypoint three on top of the slope. Do you have this open? Do we have interest in a rock sample on this little plateau? Yeah, I'd like to grab one uh, before we uh, head up slope again. Great. Okay. Uh, you've got about 100 meters to do so. And we'll be finishing with 30 have so meters. Far? Or. Uh, I think we have eight total. Maybe a little farther. Maybe a little more. Eight total from the seamount. Something over here. That better yet? Okay. Uh, you're a little stretched out right now. It might be a tough reach. Okay. Uh, but you can try. See okay. what happens. Um, worst case, maybe it pulls Atalanta in on the journey it's already yeah. starting. Just drag it around. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely seems like the marine snow has picked up a bit in this area. How about that one? Okay. Yeah, that little oval possible. yeah. Number. Would you call it a flurry or a blizzard? Both. No, oh, now I want a big flurry. <laughs> <laughs> yum yum. Yes. It never fails in the last hour of watch. Yeah. <laughs> the food conversation always starts. 
Is it the last hour of watch? It is. How did that uh, happen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I too am having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I too. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by your enthusiasm. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's a nice egg-shaped one. Maybe you'll yeah. have uh, good luck again. Yeah. Uh, hit, the, hit the lottery twice. It's possible... Yeah, I think I'm going to get pulled off this. ...that you're going to get pulled around until Atalanta starts to move. It's a little yes. big, though. Yeah, if, if we want to pass on that and move a little bit uh, up, try to get another rock, that might be ideal. Okay, cool. Y'all get back... Uh, it looks back more like a dinosaur egg. <laughs> well, that seems appealing. I yeah. Know, right? <laughs> Let's Let's that. That. <laughs> Can we get a dinosaur? <laughs> I bet terror birds lay dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> if you let me get a dinosaur egg, I'll raise it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very responsible. <laughs> Except for when you're at sea for a month. A ship is no place <laughs> to <laughs> raise a dinosaur. <laughs> ship cat? We have a ship cat, maybe. Ship cat. Is there? And there's no one out there. If if you, what the, what's the line of the song? That. Yeah, is that possible, Karen? Uh, no, that might be way too big. And there's no one there to raise your dinosaur. Is that? If if you can, yeah. Steve? <laughs> yeah, if you can. yeah. Yeah, I think that looks like a good rock. Okay. Uh, it, it <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's ten it's not fifteen. Too huge. I mean it's hard to tell until you're on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really <laughs> hard to gauge the size of a rock when you're <laughs> zoomed out like that. Yeah, until we get Atalanta over there, all of this is gonna be a little bit pulley and hard to do. I can also just try and swoop in. Mm, swoop in. Grab and Quick go. Quick little grab and go, Drive yeah. By. Yeah, maybe. Looking in the cinema camera and it looks a little thicker, but I mean it's possible. Give it the old GLP. I like the shape. GLP. I'm concerned about putting too much in the big compartments, though. Uh, shall I bring the arm out? Oh Would that be okay? Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'm kind of teetering on like a rock. A little though. bit big for that. Oh, I think. okay. Like I'm not set down on anywhere that's so flat. Okay. I, mean, I think Atlanta, Atlanta is also pulling me. Yes, possibly. I would agree. Um, I will. I'll try a quick grab if you don't okay. mind. Not at all. And I don't know if it works. That would be great. Got to get time it with the bounce of the vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, well done. It's a, it's a oh. bit of a slab. Yeah. Mm. Is that not what you expected? Or is it still good? Hey. What do you think, Steve? That's up to you. Shit, sorry. Is it's it? okay. This is it's definitely not your fault. Yeah, uh, I'll take it. To uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a large, flat, flat, yeah, thick slab Hopefully it's not rock. all crust, but uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's not... Those very spiders. rounded, so I'll take it. Oh. Say nice, dare I say sub sub rounded? No, you daren't. <laughs> you daren't. daren't. <laughs> you daren't. Daren't. daren't I? <laughs> I always try and use this like it's a touch screen. Yeah, um, do. you shan't. Okay, I'll this sample. Yeah, long. Yeah, maybe by ten. 10, 12 wide, maybe. But it's, I mean, it's a its a slab, right? It's a tablet. We'll call sure. it this, this one the tablet. Uh, tablet shaped. Uh, Bronwyn, where is this going? Um, bow box. F. Okay. The furthest back, starboard. Roger. That's a good call. Should fit in there nicely. Karen and Gabby, you're getting shout outs for your ROV skills. Oh, thanks. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, you've had, you both had some really great snags. Nice. Especially on this watch. I'm like every watch, but especially this one. Especially on the 48. Especially on the 48. <laughs> I mean, I guess this Aww, like, this yeah. day, this, this hour. <laughs> <laughs> So, on top of everything. Perfect. So, that was um, 108? 108. Uh, can we use bubble and take a look and see if the urchin is in the tube somewhere? Mm. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. After you're done I'll just here. park this real quick. 
<clears throat> Science, other than looking for the urchin again, is there anything else you'd like to do in this area? Negative. Okay. RV, I'd like to put it in a move now so we don't lose our momentum, if that works for you. Yeah, I'm Great. happy. Um, That's fine. Hi, Mimi. What's up? Bridge now. Doiv. And should we get... Uh, All right, five zero meter is one zero zero. Should I turn some suction back on, perhaps? Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? I'm not sure that I have the ability to move the bubble cam up to a bigger monitor, Steve. No, it's um, all right. I'm, I'm looking over your shoulder. OK. I mean, uh, so like the spines and stuff, I feel like are going to be so sticky, just like that uh, coral we had last time. Yeah. It's going to get, it's going to be hard for it to come free. All right. I'm just curious. We'll get it out of there eventually. Yeah, we will find a way. I'm just curious if it was obvious, uh, obviously somewhere, but we okay. don't need to spend a lot of time. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. So cool. Nice. Coming up. One zero zero, please. One zero zero. I kind of want to cut that rock open. I feel a good feeling about that rock. More than welcome. Sure. Do it oh, tomorrow. We got do it tomorrow. Yep. Can I cut open the really angular one? Everybody is welcome to cut rocks. I want one. <laughs> also, rocks? let me know when you do it, and I'll get videos. Please. Absolutely. Also, my fault. How many rocks Coming do we down. have so far? Is this? Uh, for the dive or for the watch? Nine. Uh, for on this, dive. this dive. Nine. Nine. Wow. So we did a little bit of catch up on our watch. Cool. Yes, we filled every single box with a rock. Good job, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you? Nope. Is is uh? Let's see how good they are tomorrow. The vehicle is not too heavy. How's it responding with all those rocks? Uh yeah, it feels fine. Okay. Is that why your buoyancy magically? Oh to the top? yeah, <laughs> we could. Uh, so. Uh, if it's stay, if you're not needing much verts and we're at zero Z bias, that means we're close to neutral. So we should probably pitch a plate. Okay. You want to do that now, or maybe when the? Yeah, whenever you're comfortable. We'll wait till the vessel stops, maybe. Sounds good. We're getting back into this uh, nodule gravel again. Yeah. Yeah. That seems to be consistent with a lot of these moderations and slope, flatter trains. Sure. Yeah. We've actually uh, gone down a little bit in our in our depth. It, it seems, according to uh, Grafana. Yeah, I've been coming down with uh, Atalanta. Yeah, Rob mentioned earlier that uh, these, you know, nodule fields kind of look like uh, some kind of flow uh, type of a, like a, not an erosional feature, but, uh, you know, like almost like channel. a flow channel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Samantha, are you, are you keeping moves going consistently? I have been, but I can stop after this one if you'd like to. Um, we can also just take... Yeah. I can dump the plate uh, while you're flying if Great. if you're comfortable with that, Karen. Yeah, I'm okay. happy. Look at that angular rock there. It's a beauty. Do you want it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm, I'm gaining an appreciation for the angularity 
Yeah. Or subangularity of rocks. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda I won over on rocks. I can probably get a pretty decent yeah, view with same. Hubble as well. Okay. Only takes one it's rock happening. and that's how we reel you in. Oh, they've already dumped one, it looks like. I really like that um that carbonate uh rock from the the last dive or fossil yeah, fossil looking. fossil, yeah. Oh, fossil okay. laden possible. Possible fossil? Yep. Nice. <laughs> It definitely had some, uh, some casts, if nothing else. Yeah, of, I have a good view, uh, so if it's not too distracting, I will fire the habitat, right? arm. Yeah. Okay, let me know what you need. There's some nice rocks. Bridge now. You going for that blue one? We can add another five zero meters to one zero zero. What's up? I, uh, yeah, we're dropping an Alvin weight plate for uh, buoyancy. I'll just stop so we don't drop it on that coral. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Beautiful. And that's the one that's captured, so we'll just leave it right there. Awesome. Do we have to drop nav targets for Alvin Waits? I'm curious. Uh, I haven't, but I can. Yeah. Oh, just in case. I don't believe that's part of our protocol, but... I was, I was reading ahead to the next uh, expedition plan, and that was part of the oh, requirements of the... Papahanaumokuakea? For the monument, yeah. 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 Okay. Could be another experiment one day if we ever come back here to see yeah. if there's settlement, for yeah. example. Yeah. Yes, we're continuing on one zero zero. Sounds good. And we should be reaching uh, the start of a upslope again in about. 100 meters. Okay. Thanks. Pretty sudden change, too. Wow. Look at these. Yeah. What do we call these? Cheat flows? Can I, can I read? Somebody is wondering about a rock that we had in the last dive that had fossils or potential fossils. So I'm wondering Polyphic if maybe they're talking about the, was it limestone? What, with the I, I, different I, shells? That's what I was guessing it was, yeah. uh, limestone. Um, what was the question? So, yeah, was it, was it one of the rocks from the last dive that had the shells or the potential for fossils in it? I, I believe it was. Um, yeah, yeah. It was one. It was the last dive. Uh, had a white matrix, um, kind of uh, indicative of calcite. Um, we d unfortunately didn't have any uh, hydrochloric acid on board to really find out for sure. Uh, but it, it it certainly wasn't uh, any rocks with volcanoclastics or breccias in it. Uh, those those some of the, some of those might also have a lot of calcite in those as well. But uh, the one that we're talking about with the fossils, um, just kind of pure white, almost like snow inside, which is uh, really surprising to see, uh, at least for me, first time cutting open a rock like that. Do you mind if I steal bubble? No, not at all. So does that rock cut easier or smoother because it's less dense? Um, I don't remember it giving me trouble, uh, so yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I mean, I, I usually go at consistent speed, which is, you know, slow, relatively slow, so I don't get 
uh, jam up the saw. Mm -hmm. But um, it did have that that problem, child rock. Yeah. <laughs> that scare. Can't win them all. Nope. And then somebody is wondering how do how long does it take for the plates um, to oh, rust away? The plates that we have to drop in order to compensate for buoyancy. Does anybody know? Oh, what's that in the water column? Um, I do Carthons not, camp. Brittany. I'm sorry. That's fine. That black thing. Oh, yeah. here, I'll give it to you for a second. Oh, zoom. Oh. Oh, it's a monopsid isopod. Floating? Where? Yep. Wow. Where? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, well, I guess planktonic, yeah. It is a nice shot, though. It looks like it's hanging it's out like in the middle of the water. See if I can focus on it. Yeah, can you circle it for me? While we're here, can I reset the GVL? I think you might have to float up. Yes, you're good. Great. Or move up. Sorry, up. say again. It's it's hard to see. Um, I don't see it. It's white against the uh, uh, low contrast background. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, right in the water, so it's close to you. Oh, right. it's there. Yeah. We see them occasionally. It's called a minopsid isopod. And um, sometimes they are attached to corals and things also, but generally we find them in the water above the seafloor. Uh. Bridge now. Uh, five zero meters, one zero zero. So what's um, nav? Yeah. Uh, so our recovery time is anticipated to be uh, 2400 or midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, what's our ascent time look like, uh, assuming we get to maybe like 2700 meters? 2700 meters. Yeah. Um, Gabby, have you guys been coming up at 22? Uh, I fish. I've been told it's around 20. 20. I haven't done a, re a blue water recovery, okay. blue water section of the recovery. And but we're I'm loaded down now, but. Yeah, um, we can pitch 20. plates if we get in a rush, but uh, I, yeah, I've been told 20. Okay. So. Steve, that's about. Um, Two and a quarter hours. Okay. So probably between nine thirty. Two and a half hours. Sorry. Yeah. That's not helpful. So so around nine thirty ish off bottom. If we get to twenty seven hundred meters. Yeah. Okay. That's two hours from now. Well, let's yeah, let's make some progress up slope towards four. Okay. Now I keep seeing rocks I want to pick up. <laughs> I think now that I've had the chance to cut one open myself, like that hands-on experience for me has like made me care more. <laughs> nope. Ooh, a stick. We haven't seen that in a while. What's that? Stick. <laughs> Bunch? This, oh. um... It's like the edge of the lava. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh. so cool. Oh, wow. Maybe a lava flow. Basalt wall. Neat. 
Great wall of assault. <laughs> the great wall of assault. Lava <laughs> front. That's really cool. Another one of these uh, debris fields. Just getting a little stretched out. So. Really a yeah. interesting landscape. Seascape? Yeah, I've, I've always felt conflicted about that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm holding back. Landscape is what I'm more comfortable with. <laughs> <laughs> the only difference is one is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the word the shell not be said on the Ford AHA. One, one is, is subaerial. Uh, <laughs> I've never said it before. It actually feels really good. Does it feel freeing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, you, it does make you sound Everybody really gets one at least. Everybody, Everybody gets, gets one. one. There we go. So We're going to have to mark these off so that we don't have to do it. <laughs> I'll start a board. Yeah. Can we Ryan zoom one, uh, one? on the okay. stick? Yes. <laughs> zoom on the stick. Geologist gets five. Who does? Hmm? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh, it's going to be bouncy because you're. Uh, you have Atalanta pulled about halfway around. Nice. If Those you don't learn anything on four to eight. At least you'll learn some vocabulary. Honestly, sure. it's super true. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> wow, this is interesting. Yeah, uh, so this is an old sponge stock with hydroids. Uh, up top, maybe some zoanthids. Uh, what are those? Yeah, zoanthids are anemones. And at the bottom, another type of anemone. Very well colonized uh, sponge stock. All right. A little closer and then come back up. Ooh. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Wow. Oh, yeah, those are really interesting. Hold on. Can you hold that? Mm -hmm. ah. huh. I wonder if those are serianthids, uh, tube anemones, because I think I see another row of tentacles inside which would make them tube anemones or okay. tube dwelling anemones oh, oh wow. wow there we go yep i would say they are then there you go that's really neat on cue yep tube anemones really neat okay tube anemones serianthariot fun fact they're not anemones what wow. oh. no what are they they're a sister group to the anemones. Cost. <laughs> the Serianthera, obviously. No. <laughs> obviously. 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 <laughs> Serian. <laughs> Serian. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they're the same group as. Hey, what? you already had your option to say, okay? You already had. You already got to say it once. What? You already. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> I heard some. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. Okay. Everyone should get their chance. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> By the way, I'm making an anyone Maybe. play three bingo card specifically for the 48. I don't, I don't know if Bronwyn has had it yet. Though. Bronwyn's been the only well-behaved one. <laughs> she's, she's busy <laughs> counting shrimp. That quiet laugh in the corner. <laughs> Karen, too. I don't think Karen said it. Looks uh, yet. Of time, yes. I was Looks thinking about dark. saying it. Oh, there's one. Right. So <laughs> She's gonna wait for the last <laughs> shift, and it's gonna I be the like last <laughs> thing that anybody says. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I feel like some of us in this room <laughs> are uh, tapped out, but others have a resource still. And it's a mm. very big rock. Bridge, no? That is a huge rock. Wow, that's a big rock. It's Might even broken. call that a uh, a boulder. Uh, yeah, I call that a boulder. Yeah. One zero zero. <laughs> wow. When does a rock become a boulder? Uh, there's actually a scale for rock sizes um, that go from very fine, which is going to be like clay and silt, and then you get into sand particles, and then you get up to gravel, and then boulders. That's a pretty big jump. That's a massive can jump. A, can we yes. put a target down it's and say for boulder? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to name the boulder? That's a nice boulder. Yeah. A named boulder? A named boulder. Number two. Untitled Boulder, I believe. Untitled Boulder. <laughs> it's got a nice Chrysogorgia colony on the upper right-hand side. And we can do a quick zoom on that, see if anyone's home. 
Yep. And zoom. As well as a black coral colony with, I don't see anyone home. Lights are on, no one's home. Okay. Don't Wait, see they're not. Inside. Oh, no, they're not attached, they're not attached to the same point. And that current is ripping. Yeah, it is. There might be a s one small squat lobster in the Chrysocorchia colony. Oh. Kind of about midway. Oh, yeah. Did I hear squat lobster? Yeah, I, I got it. I forgot about cobble and pebble sized rocks as well. Those are uh, in between uh, boulders and sand. Okay, okay. I was missing, yeah. That, that was a big jump there. No, yeah. I went cobbler. <laughs> I want to make flurry. Oh I want some man. cobbler. A cobbler make flurry, even? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> a real nice Is it snack too. time? What yes. a concept. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Shrimp. Oh, wow. Oh, I was about to get eaten. Oh. Well, maybe not. What a... What a person did eat a shrimp? Is there a there is a uh, squat lobster so. hiding yeah, in there? Yeah, there's a couple of squat lobsters. They look very yeah. small. Yeah. Actually, I see three of them. Right. One. Oh, oh no, maybe at least one. Maybe, I'm not yeah, sure the I other two. It. Maybe are shrimp. I see two. Yeah, it might be a shrimp here. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Well, Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for holding so long, Karen. And then yeah, we got some good side. cinema cam footage of that persingent too. Yeah, that was gorgeous. We're going back. There you go. <laughs> cinema time. Boulder cam. Cinema Boulder time. cam. Nice. That's that has like so many names. The, this boulder is like the most boulder boulder I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 so I should have said... Bold boulder. It's bold <laughs> boulder. Untitled bold boulder. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me wonder if it was actually a part of a uh, different, you know, up higher up on the ridge and, mm. and, and fell down because it doesn't look like it, it formed in situ here. Yeah. Usually on these boulders we find uh, really dense communities, but not much going on here. Uh, yeah. Either on the up current or down current side. Mm. Mostly on the down current side. There's a couple of things. There's a couple of bamboo corals and alternative pathies thing. And uh, some persingents on the up, up up current side, or up up slope side. But um, yeah. yeah, anything under there? No, I don't see anything. Okay. Nothing new on this side. The same kind of uh, antipatherians. Okay. Doc. Uh, but I will say we are approaching the steepest section of the dive coming up, so that might <laughs> Just yield. Just over. Yeah, that might yield uh, some vertical or steep terrain that would cause things to potential falls. Yeah, Rock rapid falls. Ra rapid disassembly <laughs> of the Allen side. Yeah, this almost looks like debris. That's interesting. Yeah. If it is that steep, you would expect more maybe talus, huh? But yeah, um, and and you have just a, such a strange mixture of of really fine debris that's you know been there for who knows how long, and then these randomly placed, uh, randomly placed rocks. We should be hitting the start of a steeper slope in the next. Uh, yeah, very soon, right? In the next very soon. Um, <laughs> are we interested in taking a rock at the base of the slope? Uh, how much base do we have enough for the next shift? I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, theoretically, it, you could double up here if it's a small rock, or mm -hmm. you know. if we come up on another talus field like we did, you know, about 20 minutes ago, then I'd like to sample one. But um, these these random. Uh, Randomly placed rocks, I'm not oh, sure, sure about. Okay. Fish. And what about uh, oh, push nice core? Eye. A fish. Oh. What was that? Are we fish. no longer interested in a push core? Oh, wait, another. Um, not the right. Well, can uh, I go in as we uh, drift past? Oh, I love are, we, are we almost finished with the move? Yeah, 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 we are. Yep. And we're just at the base. We're 
approaching the base of this super slope. It's so nice to see moving let's, things. Um, yeah, let's, let's do, let's stop at the base and finish swinging and then push core. Great. And, and maybe look for a ruck at the same Safe time. Zone. So our move is ending now. Flash. Based on the bathymetry, we're like 20 meters off from the base, but it, I mean, there's a slope here. Um, we yep. do another short move. Oh, I do. You can come. Or is this? Well, can we close enough? Can we scan around for a rock pile? Yeah. We're looking for a pile of rocks. I mean. Even in the starboard inboard bio boxes, you can probably fit something, you know, 10 or 15 centimeters. Okay. Um, and then in Omega, maybe something a little bit bigger, but it has to be more long yeah. shaped because okay. it has to fit inside the inserts. Yeah. So the ship has uh, stopped, but we do have some Atlanta swing, so we can go okay. a little further. Carrying on. Goodbye, fish. Goodbye, fish. That was cool. That was really cool. And for a moment, it looked like it was looking right into the cinema cam. Yeah. Mm. So do we see anything in sonar that would indicate a steep slope coming up? Uh, it's there, but 30 meters off. Yep. I feel like the bathymetry is off just a little bit. Right. Kind of feels like it, yeah. What are those contour intervals, uh, Samantha? Uh, on a high pack, it is uh, 100. 100. I mean, there might be something useful in here. Okay. Uh, I don't what do you down. think? Yeah, they, they're small enough, angular maybe. It's a very interesting little channel that follows as well. Yeah, if we can grab one of these smaller rocks, that'd be, that'd be helpful. Yeah, look at that. There, there's a bunch of, they're basically like cairns almost. Icelandic. Yeah, they are. Rocks on rocks. Rocks on rocks. All right. Uh, I don't know if you want any. So many options. I know. I know. At first, I was looking at this one here, but I, I kind of I don't know what that one might look like when we rotate it around. It's a little bit smaller. Just take them all. No, can't do that. <laughs> Can you pan up, center it up a little bit so we can get a little more zoom? Yeah, great, perfect, hold it. Thanks, video. That can go in the forward box. Uh, what do you think, Data? Um, yes. A little bigger could. than I expected. Can you rotate it, please? Uh, stand by one. Thank you. <laughs> nice. That's exactly what I needed. That's a tool tray fully out. Uh, yeah, and actually uh, retract the pan and tilt as well. Yep, this is 109. Copy 109. Bronwyn, do you have the images you need here? Uh, yep. Okay. So yeah, forward Omega on the starboard side. Okay. I think uh, that's it fully retracted. Okay. 15 centimeters. Ten, yeah, okay. ten closer to ten maybe. Okay. It's it's small. It's not large. Mm -hmm. Omega will be perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I thought that was just gonna stick with it. It's in the port side box. That's starfish, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of sea stars, there was somebody who wanted to know more about, was there a slimy star that was collected the other day? And they wanted to know, is it actually slimy? Yes and yes. All right. Okay, it's box. So, did, what do you think? Uh, um, can we scrape the sediment here again, or is that uh, just to see if it's push corable or if it's very shallow? Yes. Since we only have a couple more minutes left. Yeah. tough to tell if it's, you know, there's a lot of these rock piles, but if there's sediment, lots of sediment underneath, oh, that's hard. Yeah, it feels really, I mean, I can't feel it, but it seems very hard. Yeah, that's hard. Almost a, like a gravel, like to smooth yeah. it together a little bit. Yeah, okay. No push core. We do have uh, just under, excuse me, just about 10 minutes left of this watch. Uh, this is the four to eight crew. We're gonna be switching out soon for the eight to 12 crew. So if you have any last minute questions or comments you'd like to get in, feel free to do that. You can enter those questions or comments into the chat box underneath the video stream. Is there a difference between a sea star and a starfish? Excellent question. So the technical term is a sea star because technically they are not fish. Um, generally, people know what you're talking about when you say a starfish, but just uh, technically the, the, correct the correct term would be a sea star. So there's a geomorphol ge geomorphological feature uh, called desert pavement, and it's uh, really a densely packed, uh, like uh, angular pebbles that um, f almost form a cohesive uh, one singular unit, even though it's made up of of uh, interlocking grains. And it kind of what what kind of reminds me of, uh, or, or this this substance kind of reminds me of desert pavement. Yeah. At least visually. Large sponge coming up. Large indeed. That cinema cam really does just pay dividends. I, I for one, feel very powerful having the ability to see things before <laughs> others do. <laughs> very powerful. All great power comes great responsibilities. Yeah. Do you know, I know. I have to push the take, fo take photo Steve. button all the time. I love that. <laughs> okay. okay, for Zoom. So I think this is uh, it's a glass sponge. I think this might be Secocalyx, and it might be the first one we see or we have seen for this dive. <laughs> this is a heebie-jeebie sponge for me. I don't know what it is about it. I just <laughs> what does that mean? It's, it, it gives me like the thick tryptophobia. <laughs> tryptophobia, yeah. yeah. I think the tryptophobia is real. That's why if we get the lasers right above so the okay. main okay. opening, then it looks like a face, and then maybe you'll be less scared. Tryptophobia is. Like that. Oh, I'm not scared What's of it. it yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not it scared of it. It just kind of like, like cavernous. makes me feel uncomfortable. All the holes, like the little itty bitty holes, um, kind of just makes my skin crawl. Hmm. So what's tryptophobia? I don't think I've heard of that. So it's a fear of... Um, holes. Ir holes, irregular patterns, bumps. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah. I, don't think that, I, I don't think I have uh, true tryptophobia. Do but you just feel better if it has eyes on it? Like if we got googly eyes? I think that no. makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would make that better. I'm a fan. I'm not going to lie. Great sponge, and Nice oh. picture. Sorry, Brittany. That's fine. Great rocks. <laughs> Great rocks. I got 
against Brax. Okay, everyone, it is about time for that shift change to happen. So we're going to be hopping off mic, and next you'll be hearing the 8 to 12 crew. So happy exploring. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Oh, what's that? What are you? Hello. Hello. Hello from the back row. Hello from the front row. Hello from space. No, that's not where I am. I'm right here. Well, everybody's got to be somewhere. Do I do something crazy, Annabelle? What? Do you want to tip the mini Zeus camera all the way down? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm talking all the way down. Ooh, here we go. Hold here on. we stop. Here, here we go. Here we stop. <laughs> yeah, she's acting a little sticky today. Yeah, it might take about forty-seven more clicks, but and we might need a bit more light, but we'll see how it goes. Hello, everyone. Hey, how we Hi. doing? I keep going all the way. We're going to try and look at our own sonar. Yeah, let me know when you are good for a, when we are good for a move. Whenever science is good, I'm good. 
we're ready. I mean, I think we're all pretty, right. uh, pretty all set with rocks, unless we actually see something that's recently Is that it there? Out. One more. And so it's going to be up to uh, Paula to find And then turn on some more lights, wants. please. Roger. I'm ready to pull. How, How we say? feel? Oh, we got a loopy. <clears throat> oh, that's a good catch. Yeah, that's not what you want. Uh, <laughs> what do we do about that? Uh, neat. You want to look at the loop? Let's deal with everything else later. All right. Uh, looking at the loop. There it is. <laughs> Let's hold off on the ship and move. Mm. Huh. That's fun. I didn't get that, Trevor. Hold, hold off on the ship move. Oh, oh, oh. So let me think about this. If is this a Herc does a pirouette? type of maneuver? Uh, I've got to figure it out. It's got to go to the left. Okay. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Roger. Oh, look at that. The old garden hose trick. It's not out yet. Not out of the woods yet. Oh my goodness, that's the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. You're still 25 <laughs> meters up. Oh. 25 meters upside down. <laughs> it's very disorienting. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hey. I'm going to go out and around you. Okay. Uh, you Do you want me to come up? You can or? come up a bit. Yeah, just a bit. Just a smidgen. Is that good? A little more? That's fine. Okay. Make sure I have this the right way. If I'm going this, hmm. Hard to see. Mm. Let's find out. Feel free to adjust the lighting or your tilt or whatever to keep an eye on that tether. Ooh, I just, I cannot see that. Um. No, probably not with me there. Try and get out of your view I think view I'll here. just keep the lights on until you leave. Sure. <coughs> then maybe I'll be able to see it. Nice little edge of a lava flow there. Oh, that's fun on the ROV nav. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, it's, <laughs> yeah. Cycling. Um. Well. Well, I can't see anything. <laughs> can't see. Uh, maybe I'll try playing with some lights. Some yeah. lights off. Mm. That's less good. <laughs> it's funky fresh. Okay. Certain ones are better than others. So try turning them on in reverse. You turned them off. Or like, you know what I mean? So what if we go with like one of these? Yeah, that's looking good already. Oh, I see a little tether. There it is. Keep doing that. Yeah. Maybe three and four. Oh. All right, I see, I see float there. bits of bits of tether in the distance. Do you want me to come down on Delta? Yeah, you can come down now, please. To try and get a better look at it. Alrighty. I see one bit of tether. I see another bit of tether, but I I don't know. Shrimp. I'm gonna keep stretching out too. You can probably stop there. I think. Okay. Oh, and it looks good. Looks great. Okay. Looks great. Okay. Wonderful. Let's uh, let's go. Are we taking a right. peeky at the at the at the mezzo? Mezzo looks good. It looks okay. Yeah. We each. Oh. oh, I thought it was gonna behave. I guess it's better than running away. We were going to uh, look Can at the mezzo. Can we step 
meters bearing zero seven five degrees. Seven five degrees. You can come up on Delta now. Oof, Roger. Seven five degrees. Yes. Yeah, well yeah, thank you. Uh yeah, those little blocks in the sonar up there. Mm -hmm. The thought was that the sonar wasn't fully deployed. So oh. we were just looking for that. And then we found other goodies. So the thought was that we're like looking at our own frame? Yeah, or some other stuff. They just have been solid there, apparently. I don't know. Huh. Anyway, um, cool. Can you please write in the red book what we saw there? That we started with a half wrap to starboard. Okay. There's a loop in the tether. We went around, now we're operating with a half wrap to port, and it looks better. Roger. Um. You can use fewer words if you can figure out a way to say it. 8 to 12. And in the meantime, I'm going to change your heading. Thanks. The distance. The distant Holothorian. Don't talk like we used to. Well, maybe that's legible. Okay. It's written down. Cool. Thank you. All right. I think you can feel free to do whatever you want with your tilt lights and etc. etc. Roger that. Back to regular operating conditions. All right. So we are ready for zooms if you see something fun, science. And the ship is moving. And we'll see those moves start in about two minutes. And we are now transitioning to this steeper part of the dive. Perfect. Are the contours 10 meter? With 100 meter big ones? Yes. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we've come up about 400 meters since we started today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now we're going to do 400 in this shift, eh? Looks like it. One, two, three. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, about, yeah. Cool. A little bit of current pushing us north. Not bad. Yeah, it looks like a little more sediment on the rocks than we've seen it before, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of nuggets. Yeah, they've seen a lot of uh, mid nuggets on these. Uh, this watch, or this watch, of this whole expedition, this dive. It seems like days ago we were down here. So I'm Scooping the nuggets from that Nugget moment. River. Okay. Once I've sat there for 30 seconds or so, you got some hits, we can do a reset. Well, yeah. Okay, well, those of you at home, welcome to another 8 to 12. I just woke up from the deepest nap of my life, so... Nice. Um, Congratulations. I even How many meters? <laughs> 2,800 oh. meter nap. Um, about 3,200 because I dreamt <laughs> about being on watch. And when I woke up, I was really confused. That wasn't a dream. Um, oh, <laughs> oh. Um, so now I'm here and I'm waking up. But uh, I'm Stephanie, a natural science and children's book illustrator, coming to you as a science communication fellow. Um, while we're at it, let's do some intros. You can make them short, you can make them long doesn't matter to me at this point. Okay. Back row. <laughs> doesn't matter to me at this point. As long as you say your name and what you're doing. I'm tired. All right. I can work with that. Great. Hello, I'm Maronke Harris. I'm a science manager in training on board the EV Nautilus and off the EV Nautilus. I'm a PhD student. I'm also the host of today's Instagram takeover, so go check it out. And it was excellent, Maronke. Thank you. 
Hello, everybody. I'm Paula Rodriguez. I'm part of the science team on board of the AV Nautilus. And uh, I'm also a postdoctoral researcher at the MCC. I'm uh, Rob Colony. I'm watch lead for the tremendous 8 to 12 watch and also the geologic lead for the expedition. And uh, apparently, I'm a voiceover for Bob's Burgers. <laughs> That's what mm. my friends say, although they won't be listening now because it's 2 a.m. Uh, front row, you want to go? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Hi, everyone. I am Elias Adidio. I am from Nigeria, <laughs> and um, on board the EV Nautilus, I'm a navigator and I'm also a mapper. And um, I'm currently a graduate student at the Center for Coastal and Ocean Mapping, University of New Hampshire, and I'm majoring in ocean engineering, ocean mapping. I like to do ocean mapping. <laughs> I'm Trevor, I'm Hurkin. You're Hurkin? Hurkin. All right. Um, I'm Annabelle, I'm Atalanta. Um, I'm also an intern. Uh, when I'm not here, I'm a student undergraduate at Oregon State University, go Beavs. Dave Robertson, uh, lead video engineer uh, for this expedition, and uh, sitting in the video chair zooming in on things. Uh, I'm from uh, Anchorage, Alaska, but also spend time on the coast of Oregon, not too far away from where Annabelle's going to school at OSU, Corvallis. Florence, on the middle of the coast of Oregon. Back to you. Oh, beautiful, everybody. Beautiful. Um, we are currently at a depth of 2,825 meters. We started down at uh, 3,200, so we haven't gone too far up, but we've been diving for like 12 hours now almost. Um, this is the towards the end of our dive. Uh, how much bottom time are we going to have? Like about an hour and a half? Probably an hour, hour and a half. Yep. So. Um, an hour and a half of us at the bottom, and then, you know, about two hours going up to surface, right? The chat is open, so feel free to uh, put in any questions or tell us we're doing a great job, because we love to hear that. There's no biology here. Yeah. Yeah, let's do same, same, same. Seems very poor, but uh, the findings are interesting. So far, we have found a potential new species of sea urchin. Sea urchin? Yeah. Oh. Did we sample it? We did. Yeah. Oh. It's in the suction pipe, so. <laughs> we should be careful with slurp samples. <laughs> Do you still have the like the little drawing, single page sheet of all of the uh, sample space on Hercules? Do uh, I have the drawing? I yeah. do. Yeah, I, don't, I wasn't sure if that's still what science did. Do you have a drawing for the suction hose on there? It's not like for the hose, but we should add it. We should add it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what else have we seen, Paula? So far, we have seen also, we have collected um, corals, sponge that or uh, has never been recorded from the area or from the Pacific. We have collected squat lobster, a tiny one from a lava tube well. And I'm looking forward to seeing this specimen un under the microscope because it could be another new species as well. Also, we have uh, spotted uh, several chrysogorgias with um, squad lobster on, on them, mm -hmm. uh, chirostylids, and the deepest record of the chirostylids is 2,700 meters, so 
Um, we beat that. I'm looking forward shrimp. to see more. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp. shrimp. Oh, big Ooh. shrimp. Jumbo. Oh, that's another one of the big units. Big boy shrimp. Well, we haven't really zoomed on <laughs> Anything? Anything. So why don't we zoom in the <laughs> shrimp? Yeah. So Make sure we can still do it. it. <laughs> zoom it test. It definitely sounds like like uh, biology has been sparse, but what we have seen has been like really, you know, beneficial to our knowledge, which yeah. which is cool. I mean, it seems kind of boring not to see a lot of biology, but we're finding some important things. And look at this shrimp's legs go. Look at it go. How many legs does a shrimp have? Many. So shrimps are decapods, so they, uh, that means they have th five pairs of legs hmm. in the cephalothorax, that means in the head and in the mm. frontal part of the body. But the shrimps, they also have pleopods that are like kind of legs, but they are not legs. Fin legs? Like natatory legs yeah. in the abdomen. Is that yeah. what we see flapping yes, about? Yes, exactly. That's incredible. Um, Alberta, Canada chat wants to know if you could add or improve one feature on Hercules, what would it be? Uh, hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> Depends on the day. I would Only one? I would love to have mm -hmm. a, another seven function spatially correspondent manipulator on the left side, similar to the craft, for no other reason other than you could have two types of jaws on it, one with the coral cutters and one with the parallel jaws. There's a blob. Can I get a holothori in there? Yeah. yeah. Let's zoom anything. On zoom on anything. That's one with the, the ornaments on it, the little... All right, Dave, zoom in on this it's anything, please. It's a pig, no? The frogs. Is it a pig? It's a pig. It's a piggy. Piggy? Oh. Uh, little piggy miss. Pig. Looking for food. It looks sad. It's snurfling around down there. Snurfling. Which side's the front? I think the side with the tentacles. Okay. So it's looking down current. It's interesting. Okay, thank you. Right, I think we read the previous chat facts before saying those tentacles kind of feel or smell in quotes around for food. So I feel like over the years, I've worked with a lot of people out here who have studied geology, studied biology, all sorts of animals and stuff like that. But I've not worked with anybody who studies deep sea fungus. Is that a thing? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It totally. is. Totally. So why does nobody study it? <laughs> uh, because someone needs to start to study them to attract more people. <laughs> to oh. I actually have a postdoc who's going to be on the cruise with me to the Galapagos Rift that is interested at in fungus at hydrothermal vents. Cool. So that'll be cool. And I've never know, heard of somebody studying that before. You know what that means, Marga? Oh, goodness. Can we do a vent fact? Walked right into that one. <laughs> yeah, you do. Let's go. <laughs> Let me think for a second. <laughs> no thinking. <laughs> what do you mean? Give it to us. <laughs> odd, odd. <laughs> Elias is like revving for this vent. I know, he's ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do you know that if you look at a vent in the Pacific Ocean and you look at a vent in the Indian Ocean, you're going to find very different species? <laughs> so vents aren't the same, even though they get to the same temperatures around the world, just because they have the same temperature and chemical profile, that doesn't mean that they're going to have the same species. For example, uh, vents in the Indian Ocean have a lot more of the giant clams and giant snails on them, whereas vents in the Pacific are known for their tube worms, especially in the south of the Pacific, the giant tube worms. So they have defining animals that live on them. Are there tube worms in the Indian Ocean? I'm all? actually not sure. Hmm. I got a question. Uh, yes? What kind of tube worms? That was my question. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are so many species like Riftia or... Riftia is Riftia. the giant ones that you find in the South Pacific. And the other one? Shrimp. 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 Oh, another big one. So my question is, if these are 
animals that f live off of the energy from the hydrothermal vents, mm -hmm. then th you don't really find them not next to a hydrothermal vent. Is that right? Yes. Yep. So how do they spread from one hydrothermal vent to the other? Or is each hydrothermal vent its completely own evolutionary community? It depends, actually, because some animals that live on vents, the way that re they reproduce is their larva is released, and then it settles back on the same vent area. Okay. And some larva is, lar larva is capable of traveling long distances to other vent areas as in well. In the chance that they happen to upon a hydrothermal vent in the Pacific Ocean? That's incredible. Yeah. Like, but we're but talking that's the odds? It's the same as insects, right? You just produce a lot of eggs and mm -hmm. hope that something survives. Wow. That's, we're talking about like the giant tube worms, right? Because they're smaller tube worms. Yeah. In off like you know on boardwalks or not boardwalks like docks and stuff. In the North Pacific, yeah. the vents, uh, the tube worms there are much smaller. They're like about a foot long. Whereas the giant enough. ones can get up to two meters, so that's taller than me. I'm not a very tall person, <laughs> but I am five four. <laughs> so that's big. <laughs> Let's do same same same. They are impressive. Thank you. <laughs> and don't forget, watch. Um, we have t two words of the day: one a two-parter and one a one-parter. Yeah, that's two dead. That's my sheet. Can we get a hint on whether it's is it engineering or science? Um, one is I'll give you a big like a big hint. It's one is biology. Um, Not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've heard you all say it, so. On this dive, though? Uh, no. Mm. Deep sea? <laughs> and the other one is like a word describing something that isn't like a su It's not like a super technical term, but we've said it a couple times. I L might have said it. What? Low bait. No. <laughs> Squishy. No. no. I don't know if I picked two because the the one that's a one parter, I don't know if we would have seen it happening. I've seen it happening not on our watch though. I don't I don't know if it'll happen, especially once we hit the uh, steep slope. Ooh, I think I know what the word is. Bioturbation. Yes. It's not. But oh. that's close. It's kind of in the same spot. Push core. No. Mm. Mm -mm. Animal tracks. Nope. Squiggly wiggly? <laughs> no, but that's a good one. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's very, s <laughs> the one of the words, the one parter is very similar to a squiggly wiggly. Hmm. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I don't remember which one's the one parter. The biology or the 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 one parter is like just uh, the the you know the the fun term that describes something, and then the biology is the two parter. Wiggly. Nope, but close. Acorn worm. Nope. Mm. Worm is close though. Floppy. I'm giving you too many hints, and it's not floppy now. Tube worm. Mm. Worm tube. Yay! Oh, oh <laughs> worm tube. Aww. Yay, Rob gets the one word. <laughs> Rob gets a sticker. So why did he choose the word? Where's the biology? So why did I choose tube wor or, or no, worm tube? Um, yeah. Because at... <laughs> At uh, 12 a.m., it's kind of the first thing that pops in my head. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the other one's biology? No, it, the other term is like a, a description of how something looks when a particular thing is happening. Ooh. Well, it's amazing. As soon as we started up this slope here, the sediment had sloped it. Biology just went away. There's no coral. Yeah. Yeah, why is that? 
I don't know if it's a little more active. There's like more uh, mass wasting, more sediment kind of covering things. Okay. I see a thing in the here? cinema cam. Perhaps, yeah. or I'm just. We can look at it. <laughs> I'm just wishing that. Can it you zoom in on this black nugget, please? <laughs> <laughs> Is this what it's you're like looking at? It's like a little tiny dot. Tiny dot. Tiny dot. Yeah. Oh. And there's a fish. Microfish? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's good. Microfish. Microfish. It's like the paper. How do you see these things? I don't know. <laughs> you just have an eye for it. That's a bigger <laughs> mystery than the deep sea. Is, is, it, is that really a fish or is that something else? I don't know. Let me get a little more stable here. As I get much more bouncy, and then maybe. Do you want me to maybe. give you delta, or? No, I'm just doing a bad job. Oh. Huh. What is it? Oh goodness oh. gracious! You oh. want to zoom in a bit more, Dave? All I've got. It, it looks All right. like a fish. To yeah. Me. yeah. But why is it just like hovering right. vertically right there? It looks like maybe a lure from a, a fish mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Thank right, you. I gotta go. Ooh, what if there's a creepy rock fish on that rock? Ooh, that'd be cool. Question in the chat, do Trevor's ROV sound effects assist in the ROV operation? Do I make ROV sound effects? Yes. They assist. If you do make them, they assist. They help. <laughs> <laughs> there you have your answer. Is boop one of them? Bonk. 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 Yeah. Chat says, and you can verify this, Maronke. Hello. Um, hello. <laughs> uh, um, uh, shrimp. Tube worms. Yep, shrimp. Fish bottom right. Shrimp. Tube worms are capable of spreading their larvae underground in the vent fluids to colonize new areas. That is cool. I've never heard of that before. Um, I, you know, you, you, I always, not that I don't trust you, chat, but I always got to verify your chat facts. Um, I got to look them up sometimes. Could be true. I mean, they found venting underneath, like underground. I haven't read the full article, actually, so maybe I shouldn't speak on this yet, but my animal, advisor maybe? sent me a very interesting mm -hmm. article. Let's zoom on this animal. Go animal? ahead, Dave. Am I wrong? I'm totally wrong. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> wow. That's a rock. What were you looking at? <laughs> it's he's a rock. Looking the, the rock? Uh, sheet flow with erupted, erupted um, it's volcanic rocks. It's yeah. volcanic rock. Pillows. I thought it was a sheep flow for a, a second. Sheep, sheep flow. flow. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad joke. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> had a, a lava tube look to it. Okay. Yeah, actually, someone in the chat had an interesting thought that some of these these sheets that kind of look like puzzle pieces wondered if they were all uh, manganese crust. And I was thinking the s same thing sometimes. So we need to get some samples. But when you look up a little farther, they start to take more of a a, a lava tube shape. And I think that's you know just a, a coating. And plus, these would be really really thick. Accumulation of manganese, if that's what it was. Oh, we, we have a coral, coral, have a coral, coral. finally. Whoa, like. coral count <laughs> six twenty-seven. <laughs> Zulu okay, zoom coral. In here, please. I think. Is that what it? Kind yeah, of it. it is. Oh. Camouflage. Honestly, this is what I thought I saw the just down a bit, but I was wrong. Yeah, it's also like not very visible in the cinema cam either. It's but waving this gently. red thing. We know it's there, no. though. Ramula Gorgia militaris. Militaris. Yeah, mil yeah, that's right. I think I pronounced Ramil it right. <laughs> Ramula Gorgia militaris. Buich <laughs> nav. I think that's a barnacle. Thank or you. Can you tell? Okay, thanks. Some oh. associated arthropod. Let's do the same, same, same. Oh, uh, Jason you. and the super chatter said he's also heard about the tube worm underground here. reproduction thingy. Cucumber. Zoom in on this, please. Might as well. I'm still not convinced that Jason isn't the ROV. Jason, like are, Jason. You the, are you the ROV? What's these? That's, That's a cucumber. A cucumber. 
This Ooh. is Cinelac today. Very vibrant. Hall of so relaxed right? Am I got today? that right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. But this color is kind of big stains. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's like a galaxy. Two the the galaxy. colors of cucumbers always amaze me. Thank you. I know we saw one earlier today, but it's not this color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they come in colors too. Wow. That's, that's good to know. The colors of cucumbers. Oh, Maronke, the tube worm thing was like discovered or published or whatever like a month ago. So that might be what my advisor sent me. Because, yeah. yeah, scientists discover a new ecosystem underneath hydrothermal vents. Oh. I got emailed that five days ago. Crazy. <laughs> um, someone in the chat also Ooh, said, where did it go? Oh, I lost it. Hold on, give me a second. Is this Still an anything or is this a nothing? Fish. Can we zoom in on this nothing, please? <laughs> is that anything? Just a lump of sediment? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, just some debris. It's just a lump of sediment. Detritus. Okay. Sorry. Chat also said zoom. that that little fishy thing, they said that is not a fish, it could be an arrow worm. They hang by oh. threads on some places. Oh, that's what oh. kind of looked like. Chat is very helpful. Mm. Very helpful. Yeah, much than much than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, helpful. much more than I have sometimes seen on other cruises. I know, Great. like sometimes we don't read like the sciencey things that chat says, um, but I'll like Google it first before I read it. Yeah. Do you want to hear about this vent fact? Because I'm looking at this article and it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so basically on the East Pacific rise, so where the Galapagos Rift is, it's off of Central America, um, or near where the Galapagos Rift is, they basically discovered a cave system that was teeming with worms, snails, and chemosynthetic bacteria living in 25 degrees Celsius water. So not super hot vents, but hot enough to make a difference because ambi ambient water temperature is two degrees Celsius around. Wow. So it's like a little cave-topia, little vent-topia. So it adds an entirely new dimension to hydrothermal vents because it shows that their habitats exist both on the seafloor and below the seafloor. That's oh. incredible. That's really cool. I bet you're like exploding on the inside yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So like tube worm town cave? Tube worm town <laughs> cave. <laughs> or would it be tube worm town no nursery? Because it's the nursery. The spores that travel around. Oh, there. all the babies. Tube worm town preschool. Oh, tube worm town preschool. <laughs> what is this? This one called Rock Mountain. This one's called Rock Town Mountain. Rock. Yeah, we can name it Rock Town Mountain. Is that a shrimp in Atalanta? That I is a shrimp so. in Atalanta. <laughs> Jason is not the Jason ROV, but they are Jason in Michigan. Um, and they are a super live dive watcher. They watch a lot of live dives. Can you please poke? Oh, a fish in the, actually it's in the herd cam too. Oh, and a little coral. Can we zoom on the fish please? We do, we get both in the same zoom? No. No. <laughs> uh, wrong way, that I guess wrong. Like a cusk eel maybe. Mm -hmm. uh oh, can you shoot on down light please? Uh, Roger. That's that tadpole shape. Oh. oh bye. Oh, 
else, all right. All right, thanks. Let's go check out this coral right quick. Which is Do you want me to where? leave it on? Uh, no, that's fine, thank you. Um, I lost sight of it. It was there, probably. Doubt it moved. <laughs> Oh, it, it's right in like the, it's in the cinema cam right now, barely, off to the right. Yes. Off to the right? Yeah. Ooh, good catch. With Paula with the, All right. the super Zoom seers. In, please. My radar. <laughs> I oh. think it's oh. the same as pieces we saw before. Militaris? Yeah, really with another yeah, guest there, but Thank you. good to see you. When Thanks. you say guest, is that the same as associate? Yes, associate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so the chat has their own Discord. What? Oh, like Where they keep unofficial? up on all the dives and screenshot all the cool stuff and Do I we do have a lot of things together. Do we have a fan Discord? The, well, they watch a lot of different dives, so like, yes. Uh, Deep sea fans. Is this some um, unsanctioned? Unsanctioned. Yeah, someone new, Jason. Super chatter, Jason. Oh wow. Okay, can we zoom on the something something, please? Something. Is it a spongy debris? Yeah. yeah. It looks like. Looks like. Thank you. Funk, come wide, please. Yeah, we haven't seen any sponges on this watch either. There's a big coral in the cinema cam, just like straight ahead. <laughs> Let's go for it. That's the wrong way, but I'll go that way anyway. A lot of nice for pillows science. coming through here, though. It's gonna be on like this little. Ridge. Oh wow! Yeah, there yeah. it is. Nice pillows. Oh bonk! A little elongate. Elongate pillows. Is that the word? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Retracted polyps. Bridge nav? No, you already got the two-parter word. It's Is it bridge nav? No. <laughs> no. Let's do same, same, same. <laughs> when I want Elias to win, it'll be bridge nav. What? You gotta give what? one to him. You don't want Elias to win? Is that what you're saying? No, oh. I do, but I want to, you know? <laughs> When I only want Elias to win, I'm still giving everybody a chance. Okay, let's think. Is it, uh, come up on Delta? Delta, is it Delta? No. It's coming up? <laughs> no. I don't know if we'll, like, at this point, I don't know if we'll have a chance to, like, see it anymore. Um. Can we zoom this if it's possible? Yeah. Put the brakes on. Yeah, you betcha. Air brakes, water brakes. Water brakes. I think it's just a. Oh, a tumbleweed. Uh, can you zoom in the tumbleweed, please? <laughs> well, this. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Are we looking at this little thing? I think we're looking at the little white no, thing. No, there's a little floaty thing right here. The float or are we oh. looking at that little white thing on the rock? Or what are we looking at? Yeah, that's nothing. Nothing. We're looking at the we're nothing. We're looking at nothing. <laughs> looking at nothing. Roger. We need some, like, Wild West music. Oh, is that another shrimp? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, shrimp. 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 Connor in the chat is asking, so I have to know, did the very regular rock that you guys plucked off the cliff end up containing Vulcanist, Vulcan, um, I can't read, I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. Vulcanastic. <laughs> Vulcanoclastic. Oh my god, Vulcanoclastic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Geolographer. Um, <laughs> Geolographer, <laughs> <laughs> not the word. Um, or otherwise sedimented and welded volcanic debris. I think he's talking about that rock that we were, like, that, that came off that vertical cliff that we were really excited about, but I don't T think. Today? Yesterday, yesterday. Oh yeah, yesterday it was. Yesterday, uh, yes. yesterday. Yes. I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you for that. We have. We need to use that term for forever now. Yeah. Well, the, the, that yeah, let's that. Zoom on this, please. Yeah, okay. That chunk of rock was really interesting. It ended up being what we'd call a hyaloclastite. 
which is a volcanic breccia that happens when you have a flow that, that comes out. Sorry, this is a very big barnacle. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Look at that big. Ooh. Look at that barnacle. It's what it's killed crazy. the sponge. Oh. Is that its little feet sticking out? Yeah. Little barnacle tentacles? Oh my there god. There are two barnacles. And a barnacle buddy. Yeah. Oh, tiny wow. barnacle buddy. They're barnacle besties. Yeah. Color Sorry. Hobbs. No, that's fine. Oh, oh, thank you. I was done. That's so cute. Good one. All right. The barnacles are crustaceans. And you love crustaceans. I Crusty. love crustaceans. I didn't know barnacles were crustaceans. I thought they were like mollusky. Shrimp things. in the cinema cam. Shrimp in the cinema Shrimp. cam. And in the Herxus. There yeah. it is. And there it goes. Anyway, What's so shrimp count? Oh, it's lots. So lots. Shrimp count. How so many shrimps? You said lots? Like lots of shrimps. 40. Here's 40 shrimps? There's 42. Oh, oh I thought you <laughs> you saw 40 shrimps while I was oh, wow. logging the barnacle. <laughs> That's That's this one. This one? Wow, good eye. Sometimes I think these low bio like dives are really fun because we get really invested in like the mundane. <laughs> <laughs> They bring us a little bit back down to earth. We're a... Uh... All right, thank you. Down to volcanic rock? Yeah. Where am I? Yeah, you've been going the long way. <laughs> Likely, <laughs> knowing me. <laughs> So this morning we and thought... And we are getting more stops in that direction, though. <laughs> this morning we thought Kalafakis was a little bit more cream. And Trevor, you were, I think you were saying, is it a factor of them being older? And that Kalafakis, somebody said that, I but Kalafakis was very light in color. So maybe it is a factor of them being older and having some detritus on them. That could be a good factor. What's detritus? Organic Just matter and rest of inorganic matter as well. Okay. It's a fun rock. I'm trying to figure out what it's called, but this this is so dark, I can't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That light does not help. No? So are these rocks poitroidal? Yes. Yeah, they are. Yes. I'm running with the words mean. What? Sheet flow. All right, so we have uh, Rob gave us a piece of paper with some rock terms. We have pillows with ornaments, breadcrumb crust. We haven't Since heard that one thing. yet. We have sheet flows. Could we you have in here, please. Sheet flows and pillows shrimp. erupted on a slope. Is it just a shrimp? A shrimp. We have a shrimp. Oh. I mean, yeah, I love shrimp. We have lava <laughs> tubes and we have low bait flows. All right, thank you, Dave. I feel like there's more that you've said than this. Oh, there's a small thing. Where is it? This is... Oh, it's like floating on top um, of that little hill. Yeah. Small Can black coral. Can we zoom right Oh, yeah. Got a couple there, of them. Oh, there's one up a little farther up to on Cinema Care. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's right here. Go for it, Dave. Wow, that's really wee. There's a bigger one, like, slightly to the left. Up and left, yeah. Yeah. Could be in belly patterns, maybe? Just big coral behind right it too. About here, here. Oh, too far. Oh, there it is, down below. Yeah. Little teeny. All right, thank you. I'm gonna go over here real quick. Get a little snap zoom on this large coral over here, which is definitely the wrong way, but. Oh. There's one down there, which we'll ignore. There's one over here. 
All right, let's zoom in on this, please. They're all very like clear, white colored. Yeah, we're yeah. not seeing any. What any are they hiding from? Yet. Us. <laughs> well, this one has like a like a opaque stock. 